What's up, X and YouTube? Matt A here. Today, we're going to talk about K Vest. That's right. How bad does K Vest look? I made a video about that already, but after seeing the game, she actually looks worse and worse the more I look at her. You know, she has that double chin thing going on, the, the face, the mask, all of that stuff looks bad. And here's the thing. The character model, the, the person who, who played her, looks great, looks way better than that. Why did they have to dumb down the looks, man? We don't want to play that. And you can see this is going to be a controversy with Endymion posting this. Dear Ubisoft, why do you hate beautiful women so much? Star Wars Outlaws could have been a big hit if you just let women be women. I have to hard disagree with this. No pun intended, guy. No pun intended hard disagree this game is terrible from the bottom up the effects are bad the writing is bad the story you know the you know the story this is probably the worst open world rpg we've ever seen in our lives it's definitely the worst star wars rpg that is a given now if she if k vest was actually hot would it have made a difference no no it, it, it wouldn't have made a difference. This game is so bad. It would not have made a difference. I, I don't believe it would have. Let's take a look at what the actor really looks like. Let's see. Oh, no, dude. That's just insane, man. I know this. I know this is makeup and Photoshop and all of that. But come on, dude. Going from this to this. Ah, dude. They, they messed her up bad, dude. They did her wrong. This would not have saved the game. Let's go take a look to at the reviews real quick, because it's not just me. The reviews are bad, dude. You know, and then we saw the gameplay ourselves. The worst thing you ever seen, dude. Worst thing. Outlaws review. Let's see. IGN are the most forgiving people, right? Let's see what they did. Yeah. What? <laughs> I told you. Let's look at IGN. Oh, my God. How could they give this game a seven, dude? They are they are delulu they are delusional there is no way there's no way on earth this game is a seven that is not possible everything about this game is bad what is wrong with these people as far as star wars video games go we've taken countless turns at twirling lightsabers and unleashing flashy force powers but star wars outlaws triggers the entire oh but Star Wars Outlaws swaggers into the cantina, slinks down into the booth with its holster clip unbuttoned and argues that those are no match for a good blaster at your side. There is no good blaster. If you play this game, the blaster is completely limp. All right. I would take the blaster over in the weapons of Shadows of the Empire any day. Star Wars Shadows of the Empire did blaster play right. They did it right. Dash Rendar was cool dude dash rendar that's where it's out if you haven't played that i would suggest trying to get a mod play shadows of the empire that game desperately needs a remake the open world or rather worlds okay it's a hub world hub world game it's not an open world game let's let's be real here it's a hub wor world like kotor action game features a level of gun battles and broken promises befitting the legend that is Chewbacca's best mate. However, Star Wars Outlaws essentially delivers a Han Solo-like experience in both good, bad ways. So if there's so much bad in here, why, why is there so much copium to give it a seven? It has some handsome looks. No, it doesn't. And a strong sense of adventure. No, it doesn't. But it's also somewhat scruffy around the edges. That is true. I would say it's more than somewhat. It is scruffy around the edges beyond belief. But it's also somewhat scruffy around the edges and is liable to liable to let you down from time from time to time. The whole game is a letdown. Of course, given that it's rollicking space western story takes place in between the Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi. I'm so sick of being in that uh, that uh, era. By the way, the height of the Imperial power, the actual Han Solo, is literally on ice for the duration of Outlaws. Okay, I guess he's frozen in the carbonite in this. Instead, we step into the battered space boots of K Vess. Oh, yeah, here we go. This is what I want to talk about. She's quickly shown to be handy with the hairpin lockpick. Terrible. And has an insatiable appetite for five-finger discounts. Though like Dash Rindar and pre-Jedi Cal Katarn before her, she never really steps out of Han's shadow and becomes more than a stand-in smuggler with a heart of gold. So you see here, right? You see this, you read this, and you think to yourself, hey, 
How did IGN give it a seven? They gave it a seven because they're trying to be nice. They want some copium. Look, you don't want to make Ubisoft mad. Then you're going to lose, you'll lose access to all of their future games. We know that IGN, they have integrity to a certain point, but I, I, I don't think it reaches the equilibrium, right? I don't think it, I don't think the lines intersect. I, I think their integrity, I think they have pretty decent integrity, but we can see here, they definitely inflated this to a seven when it should be a four. This game is a four, guys. This and girls, this game is a four. And I would say Dash Rindar stands out, dude. I am still thinking about Dash Rindar. Cal Katarn stands out. Dash Rindar stands out. These people stand out, okay? Bastila stands out. Revan stands out. Kreia, Darth Kreia stands out. All of these characters from the other Star Wars, you know, entities, they do stand out. They do. And I would say that I would argue that Kay Vest actually does stand out. She just has a terrible character model. She's in a terrible game. The character itself isn't bad, right? If they made her look better and they had it, they put her in a better game and better graphics. For example, let's say instead of Cal, they actually put Kay Vest into a uh, Jedi, Survi Jedi Survivor type of game, right? It would actually be good. She would look good. We would like her as a character. We like Ahsoka Tano. We like good female characters that are written well. We would like her if she was written well and actually looked like the actress that played her. It's not that hard. It's not, it's not that hard, dude. All, all Ubisoft had to do was Assassin's Creed, click. Far Cry, click. Copy, click. Paste. Add Star Wars assets. That's all they had to do. And we would have been happy with that because like Mr. Maddie said, like I said in my other video, like other creators, Star Wars theory says, if it's a Star Wars game, we are going to like it, even if it's generic and boring, even if it's generic and boring. And I want to point out one, one other thing real quick in that SWAT tour still exists. We still have SWAT tour. They could, they could have used that for inspiration. Let's go look at SWAT tour real quick, because that is a game that's, that is still around, right? And let's go, let's go see SWAT tour, you know, uh, smuggler gameplay. And I want to do this real quick. I want to check out the old Republic because they do a really good job. This is the best ongoing star Wars game we have. And this is an MMO from, I, I don't know, I think 2013 or, or, or 2012 or something like that. And it still looks better. It's this <laughs> The old Republic still still looks better than uh you know Star Wars Outlaws. It's just crazy. It's crazy. All right, so this gameplay is from Renfail. All right, so if you don't go ahead, like the video, subscribe to him. But we can see how cool smugglers look in SWAT Tour. Look, we have guns. We have different abilities. Ubisoft had plenty of things to to uh, draw from. We have different weapons. We have sniper rifles, dual wielding. There's no excuse for K Vest not having any of these cool abilities. There's no excuse because they have inspiration right here. This game is still ongoing. And we can see choose your style. We have scoundrel, gunslinger, sniper, operative, commando, vanguard. We have all of these different styles under the smuggler. So why couldn't Ubisoft just use this for inspiration? Why, why couldn't they use this for inspiration? I, you know, I, I don't really even know. I don't know why they couldn't use this for inspiration. I know this isn't going to translate one for one, but look at the abilities. Look at the blaster skills. Watch when he shoots the blaster. It's super fluid. We have different abilities going on. We have bots. We have grenades, dual weapons, lasers. We have all kinds of abilities going on. And you can see here. And yeah, it's an MMO. It's not going to translate one for one. But you have to admit, right? Ubisoft could have used that for inspiration. They didn't have to copy it, but they could have used it for inspiration instead of forcing stealth. They forced stealth and the stealth's not even good. They forced stealth and the stealth play is not even good, right? You're, you're stealthing, right? You get caught. You go back to square one. Guess what? It's 2006. You get caught. You go back. Actually, 1998, 2001, and 64 times. You get caught in Mission Impossible. You go back to the beginning. You need to use stealth. Ubisoft had all of the writing there. They had everything that they needed to make this game a success. Copy and paste Assassin's Creed. Copy and paste Far Cry. Copy and paste Swator and use the smuggler's skill tree. Ah, 